summoning jutsu. you do this? So you noticed me, huh? You won't destroy my home. What is a ninja? I asked that once when I was younger. A real ninja is one who endures. That's what my master told me. Seems the reports were accurate. It's the Akatsuki, all right. What's going on? We've taken most of these guys down already. Worry about that later. Right now we have eight of them to deal with. And every single one of them has seriously dangerous abilities. I made sure to memorize the data about them, but still. I'm prepared. Awaiting instructions. Got it. The thing God! Done! What? I'm not gonna run and I'm not gonna hide! So come and get me, punks! And... My name is... Naruto Uzumaki! I'm a ninja! What is he doing now? And here I thought that ninja were supposed to endure! Well, at least this way he's doing a good job being a decoy. Shikamaru. We'll be at a disadvantage in a group battle. We should split them up and fight them individually. Now move out! Jeez, Naruto, do I always have to look after you? You really don't ever stop to think, do you? What'd you say? Wish I had some more, but we gotta get going. That's Mansion Jutsu! And you, get back to your post! Your time's up. Why, you ask? 
because your jutsu are annoying. See that combination we pulled off? Hinata, go for it! Right, Naruto. Double dynamic entry! I may have had a hard time before this, but I am different now. There is nothing more effective than hard work. That's right. Well said, Lee. Now it's time to get down to business and display our glittering power of you. We won't get away. Not a chance. Sage and Dad hone their skills. The training cave. <sighs> Sorry to keep you wet. Oh, don't just jump out like that. Earth style mud wall. Ninja art. Super beast scroll. <laughs> Style. The enemies. Their presence is completely gone now. All right. We sure took care of them for the time being. Kakashi Sensei. Yeah, it's very strange. An attack by Akatsuki members who should be dead? How can that be? I don't know. They withdrew without offering much resistance, but... Was it an idle threat? Or have they put some kind of scheme in motion? Let's add more lookouts and increase the village's patrols. Yes. Hold on. We still have a post-mortem sample from this enemy, correct? Analyze and compare their structures right away. Right. Hmm. So, what happened? I just heard the news, so you chased off the Akatsuki, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All of them ran off pretty quickly, though. Don't be so modest. I'm proud of you, boy. It's good to know that you can get the job done when it counts. <laughs> Seriously, the Akatsuki? Those are some skilled fighters with considerable power at their disposal. And you drove them away, did you? I'd only expect Jonin to pull off something like that. Well, I don't know about that. Choza is right, and so all of us have talked it over, and we decided to submit applications to Lady Hokage for all of you to be made Jonin. What? No way! We're going to be Jonin? You better believe it. And it was a unanimous decision by all of us, right? Ooh, Hey, so, um, do you think... I mean, I'm not sure she should accept. Our family's never had any sort of talent, really. But, Mom, what do you mean? Honestly, you lack a sense of responsibility. You complain about cleaning, you never put your shoes away, and forget about getting you to fold your laundry. Giving her a promotion would probably just cause problems for everyone. <laughs> Mom, you don't have to say stuff like that in front of everyone. <laughs> you sure don't look so tough when your mom is around, Sakura. Now don't worry, dear. After all, Sakura has a great teacher to guide her. Just remember, if you got a good teacher, no one can beat you. <laughs> oh, dear, you are awful. I wish that the two of you would just butt out of my life. You're annoying and not funny and act like fools. What? What did you say? Whoa, Sakura, don't say anything you'll oh, regret. shut up. Just mind your own business. <laughs> Looks like everyone else is going to get recommendations from their parents. So what are you going to do? Well, I was a member of the Foundation. So the promotion process is entirely different. Hmm. It was really 
think you can handle it? I mean, this is a pretty big cake. I can eat it all. <laughs> sure, there was so much left over last time. So, what did you want to talk about? Um, Iruka-sensei, uh, listen, you think you could submit a Jonin application for me? What? It's just that all of my other classmates are gonna have their parents fill out applications for them, and, well, I, uh... Nope, sorry, I won't. <clears throat> but why not? Because that step's supposed to come after you become a Chunin. Sure, you saved us from pain, and everyone calls you the hero of the Hidden Leaf. But I can't give you special treatment. I mean, even your dad worked his way up through the ranks, from Genin to Chunin to Jonin to become Hokage. Then he went on to become a hero. And to become just a face carved into a rock. But you know what? Rocks can't welcome you home. Naruto. Can I tell you something? You know what I think about sometimes? He shouldn't have become a hero carved into a rock. He should have just stayed put somewhere so he could say welcome home to me. Iruka Sensei, your pen. Cut it out! Enough! <sighs> What's going on with you today? Just forget it. Ramen is sorry about the wait. Miso and barbecue pork for you, Naruto. Hey, old man, there isn't any Naruto fish cake in this. Oh, yeah. Sorry, but we're all out. I just put a whole bunch of Menma in there for you instead. Are you kidding? I hate Menma! What in the hell is this crap made from, anyway? It's just so gross! Well, actually, you take bamboo shoots and ferment them. Then you... Great, so it's rotten bamboo, huh? Ugh. You're the one being really rotten right now. Hey, hey, no fight inside the shop. Ramen with no Naruto in it isn't really what I'd call ramen at all. Naruto. Oh, man, I had no idea he hated Menma that much. Uh, he didn't leave enough. I can cover him. Damn it, why can't Aruka sensei just <laughs> Why do you always have to be rebellious? Hmm? Why are you always going on about stuff that doesn't matter? I'm not a little kid anymore. Hold on! I'm not done talking to you! Hm. Just stop butting into my life. Sakura! Huh? <sighs> hey, Sakura. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> You're going on a date with me! Let's go! Uh, sure, okay. I'm up for some fun, but based on the way this date's starting... Shut I... up! <laughs> I'm pretty sure blowing 
have steam doesn't count as a date. Hey, Black Rose, let up. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, Sakura? Sounded like your mom wanted you to come back. It's best to leave her alone. She's always like this, butting in on every little part of every little thing that you do and trying to tell you exactly how you should be doing it. And my dad is no better either. Would it be so hard to take my side once in a while? But no, he always does whatever she says. According to them, I'm a no-good ninja with no shot of becoming a Jonin. Throw me a bone sometime. You know what? Why couldn't I have different parents? Ones I could respect like everyone else has. <sighs> I'd be better off without them. Okay, I think that you're going a bit too far now. What? Oh, so you're gonna take their side, huh? No, I just think that... <sighs> Why did it have to be you that's here with me right now? If Sasuke were here, he'd definitely understand how I feel. Huh? It's been a while, Naruto Uzumaki. So it's you, Mother! Rasengan! You never change. Ch hmm? I won't let you attack our village. This is unplanned, but it doesn't matter. Huh? <sighs> Madara, what are you? could be nearby. We need to let everyone know. Hey guys, what are you doing? Perfect! You guys came at just the right time! We're in trouble. Madara was just here. Huh? Hey! Aren't you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. But what do you mean by Madara? I don't get it. Tr ah! Come on! This isn't the time for stupid jokes! Like I said... <laughs> ah! 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 Uh, Akamaru! Uh, uh, damn you, Akamaru! I've had enough of this! Quit biting me when my back's turned! <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah? Well, I don't like your face either! Did something happen between you and Akamaru? Yeah, like whatever. He's always like this. Damn it all. Why couldn't I have been born a cat user instead? Cat user? Why, you ask? Because Kiba is a cat lover through and through. Also... So, what were you two doing here? I hope for your sake it's not a date. What? Uh, of course not, Hinata. What are you saying? If you lay your hands on him, I'll kill you. Come on, just confess! I didn't do anything! Everyone just calm down, okay? <laughs> Why are you trying to cover for her? Uh, uh, Sakura? I think maybe we should... Yeah, gotta go. Incidentally, a male and female alone together implies... <gasps> They're running away! I knew it was a date! Hold it, you two! I hate the sound of bugs. <laughs> What was that all about? Those guys sure didn't seem like themselves, did they? Mm -mm. Come on, Choji. Huh? Please, let's go to barbecues. They're doing this all-you-can-eat special for only 1,500 Rio per table. So even if we just split it between the three of us, then that only comes out to be like, uh, I don't know. It's 500 Rio each. Anyway, I don't want some all-you-can-eat deal. I just get full too easily. 
It would be a complete waste of my money. What? I don't get it. Don't you see? Even if you only eat enough for five people, it's still a bargain at that price. But how am I ever supposed to eat that much? Come on, you guys. <laughs> Shikamaru, Choji, you shouldn't be fighting. You're both friends, right? Wait, hold on. Did she just giggle a little bit? Mm-hmm. Oh. Look, it's Sakura! Hey, come on! It'll be super fun! Join us! What? Oh, please come <gasps> along with us! Food always tastes better when you eat it with friends, right? <laughs> What's your deal? Everyone has been strange ever since Madara disappeared. <gasps> You're telling me. Let's go already! <laughs> Hold on! Hey, you guys! Listen, Madara just showed up in the village and attacked us! Hmm? Madara did? What's Madara? Oh, I know what that is. The fish you put in hot pots. Oh, yeah. Oh, seriously? He's not a fish. Come on, guys. You really don't know who he is? What's going on? The two of you... You're acting weird today. What? No! The only weird ones... Hmm? Huh? Sakura, you're the child of heroes. You gotta get a hold of yourself. Child of heroes? Just look. Uh... What's all the fuss about, you guys? <gasps> it's Sasuke! It's you! What are you doing in the village? What, am I not allowed in my own village now? No, I mean, of course you are, it's just... You two okay? Look like you've seen a ghost or something. Sakura, Menma... Did you... Did you just say Menma? Oh, I know I did this to myself, but it sure does sting. Uh, Ten Ten, sweetie, you really should stop using all of those ninja tools. They're so dangerous. The baths, huh? I thought I'd tag along with everyone to observe their behavior. Huh. Well, I see that you're still completely flat as a board. <laughs> what did you just say? Menma is my man, and don't you ever forget that, Flatty. Flat? This is the first time I've ever gotten angry with Hinata. So Bushy Brows is the only one who didn't show up, huh? That's not unusual. Why is that, you ask? Because he's a worker ant. And boy, do I ever hate ants. Seems to me that you've got a pretty small-minded attitude, Shino. Hey, Menma, check this out, see? I've got cat ears. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Oh, come on. Don't you think that's funny? All right, then. I'm a lion. <laughs> to tell the truth, if I had my choice, I'd really much rather hear you say woof, woof or something. <laughs> Quit messing around. You're not a kid anymore, you know. You just spilled half the water out. <laughs> oh, my bad. Never mind. Huh? Expansion jutsu. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at all this water. Where'd it come from? <sighs> Kiba likes cats and Shikamaru's a complete idiot. It's painful watching them. <sighs> and you need to stop overreacting to it. It's annoying. At least you're the same, as obnoxious as ever. It's so weird. Almost everyone's different. No. I guess some this people way. stay the same. Uh, come on, turn toward me! I told you, nothing happened, I swear! Like I believe that. I know you've got your eyes on Menma. Uh, I sense... Wait! Oh no, crap! Damn you, Neji, I'm sick of it! I'll kill you! <laughs> What's that? That hurt more than I 
expected. What's Lee doing in the changing room? Rock Lee, you. So much for your training. You were just trying to peep on us, weren't you? No. I was only passing by while I was training, and I tripped over something. It was just an accident. You just happened to be on the bathhouse? <laughs> I'll kill you first, then go take care of Neji. Hey, what happened? Huh? <gasps> Rock Lee's been peeping on us. What? How improper. <clears throat> You're one to talk. Wait a minute, Hinata. <gasps> He's getting away. Come on, let's get him. <clears throat> Move it. <clears throat> what is going on here? Everyone we know is different than we remember. Like they're the opposite. Everyone? Even Sasuke? Well, no. Actually, he seemed pretty normal. You know, just as unlikable as he usually is. Oh, really? But if Sasuke's the same, maybe Lee is. And that means he's been falsely accused. You're right. We better go, too! Really? You can't even use ninjutsu and you thought you could get away from us? You should be ashamed. <laughs> Didn't I tell you you're the last one to be giving lectures? No, you have it wrong. I was merely training, jumping between roofs. My foot got caught on something, and then, well, I just fell in there by accident. You're a terrible liar. <sighs> Wait, stop. Huh? What, Menma? Stay calm, everyone. Maybe it was just an accident. Oh, how nice of you, Sakura. Thanks. Oh, shut up. You're suspicious enough to get a beating. Just wait. I know Lee isn't that kind of person. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding. Those are mine. Took him from the changing room, huh? Not Lee, too! This place... I feel like I'm losing my mind. I tried releasing the Genjutsu, but it didn't make a difference. Plus, Sasuke's here, and my name is Menma. I mean, what in the hell is going on in this crazy world? Ugh. I think when Madara used his Jutsu, we were brought into a whole other world. It's the only thing that makes sense. What do you mean, a whole other world? I don't know exactly. But I don't have enough information right now to figure it out. All right. Well... I guess all we can do is keep investigating. Yeah, that's right. So for a while, you're forbidden from using your real name when we're in public, understand? What? Come on, are you serious? Why? Because you're Menma here, aren't you? Work with me so that we can gather intel effectively. Okay, Menma? So you're gonna call me that too? <sighs> Sakura, good to see you. Here you go. Oh, are you sure? Of course, take it and don't mention it. It's the least I can do after your parents did so much for all of us. They saved the whole village. We're in your debt. I see. Heroes means that they're... Put your shoes away when you take them off. <laughs> Damn it. My name is Naruto Uzumaki. Hey, wait a minute. If Sakura's dad is the hero of the village here, then that means...
supposed to stay this world sucks <sighs> this isn't funny you know damn it Wyatt! <laughs> Thanks to you, we were able to send them to the other world. An experimental version of the infinite Tsukuyomi. A limited Tsukuyomi. That world is like a mirror image on the water's surface. Using the power of our seven-tailed beasts, this jutsu creates another reality. A perfect copy of this world and traps its victims there. However, it doesn't appear that this world and that one are absolutely identical after all. Of course not. As an analogy, imagine our victims are like this pebble. Throw in a foreign object, and it is inevitable that some distortions will result. I see. Now then, I have to take some steps to move things forward. It's strange, though. I mean, you created that world. And yet, not everything in it moves according to your wishes. As I explained, this jutsu is experimental. However, I will retain control of this situation. Keke Genkai, secret jutsu. Gather every power in existence and rule over the world of the shinobi. What a truly simplistic ambition. Your presence is too strong for a ghost. Who are you? Does it matter? I have power, and it can be yours. I kept thinking that you didn't seem like yourself yesterday. Wait, you mean you were worried about me? If you need any help, just ask. I will always be here for you, Sakura. Thank you, Sasuke. <sighs> Homeless in my own village, this is ridiculous. You've had it rough since we got here, huh? <sighs> Don't act like it's just my problem! Aren't you finding this whole thing difficult, too? Hmm. Well, to tell you the truth, I actually find it refreshing. Refreshing? <laughs> so I pulled the short straw? <sighs> okay, okay. Let's just go over what we know so far and focus on that. This whole place was created by Madara's Jutsu. But it doesn't seem like the villagers mean us any harm. Right. And we don't really know this place. But all the people that we've encountered treat us like we belong here. Also... Yes, I've painted yet another beautiful landscape. Perfect! Versailles, that's horrible. I don't really understand art. Is that even a landscape? Look, don't ask me. I don't get art at all. Everyone's different. Just a little off. Hmm. <laughs> 
You too. Huh? This way, Naruto. This is why I hate bugs. The biggest difference in this world has to be how everyone treats Sakura. Can I shake your hand, child of heroes? Of course. This is so cool. When I grow up, I want to be just like you, Sakura. So, what do I do? Well, uh, study hard, I guess, and train hard. If you've got determination and the will to fight, you're pretty much all set. Awesome! Yeah. <laughs> I'll work hard, I swear. Bye! Bye. Thanks, Sakura. Bye! You can do it! Hold on. You're enjoying this whole situation, aren't you? <laughs> no, I most certainly am not. I'm merely playing the part of the child of heroes so I don't look out of place. Oh, not at all? Well, uh, a little. I mean, it doesn't look like there are any big threats to deal with right now. It's not that bad once you get used to it, you know. So you've completely forgotten everything? Sakura! This entire place is a fake world that Madara sent us to! We're trapped yes, here! Yes, of course, I know that! Look, I, I was just saying... The point is that I'm not staying! Staying in this dumb world! Wait, where are you going? To gather more intel, of course! I'm not just gonna hang around here doing nothing! Uh... Wait! I'm coming too! Now that he's been trapped inside the limited Tsukuyomi, we are at least halfway to our goal of obtaining the Nine Tails. So we can get rid of Naruto and take the Nine Tails whenever we want? There's no need to rush. All in good time. But make no mistake, we will finish off Naruto Uzumaki and capture the Nine Tails. If you want to know something, the best thing to do is always ask Granny. Madness! You're telling me the tailed beast of the Land of Lightning has been taken? Oh. <sighs> Wait, did you just say what I think you said? Menma. The tailed beast has been has taken? Has anything happened to Killer Bee? Calm yourselves. Our intel says that it was a female Jinchuriki who was taken. <sighs> Lady Tsunade. There may well be a battle in the near future, so surely there's no need to keep this hidden? A battle? With who? Someone has been collecting rare jutsu and keke genkai in recent years. I'm sure you've heard the news going around about a masked man spotted in several different nations. Did you say a masked man? He's an s rank criminal wanted internationally. But we never thought he'd lay his hands on a tailed beast. A tailed beast in a mask. What do you think? It's gotta be him, right? It must. No one here knows the name Madara. But in the same way that you're called Menma, Madara might be here under another name, too. That's it! Where's this guy now? Uh-uh. Just forget it. He isn't someone you can handle. All of the hidden villages, including ours, have tried to defeat him many times. But... Even Master Jiraiya himself never made it back home. Seriously? Hervey Sage? Before he died, Jiraiya got a message to us. He revealed that there's only one way that we can defeat the masked man. You have to use the scroll of sealing. The Red Moon Scroll. Welcome home. Thank you, Lady Hokage. No way. Mom and Dad. You're alive. That's no way to greet your parents when they get home from a mission, you know! I see. So in this world... Please tell me, what about this scroll? Before he died, Jiraiya Sensei received a prophecy on Mount Nilboku. It said the Red Moon Scroll he obtained would defeat the Masked Man. The prophecies of the Great Lord Elder are never wrong. In order to fulfill the prophecy, Jiraiya Sensei risked his life to obtain the Red Moon Scroll. But he sustained serious injuries, and lost his life without being able to make it back to the village. 
Then where can we find this Red Moon Scroll now, do you know? Most likely it was hidden close to our border with the Land of Grass. Does that mean that you managed to break the code? It took quite some time to decipher, but yes, we did. Minato, Kushina. The moment Kakashi and Guy return from their current mission, head out together to recover the Red Moon Scroll. Please! You just gotta let me join them on this but mission, Minato, Granny! What are you saying? You can't do this! I can't leave this to other people, either. Stop the caster and release the jutsu! This is our chance! The lead that'll get us back home! Yeah, you're right. Granny! You two have no place in this mission. Could you possibly reconsider? <sighs> Minato! Please don't worry. I guarantee I'll bring the Red Moon Scroll back. All right, fine. Thank you, Lady Hokage. <laughs> that was a shock, right? I didn't expect your parents to... <clears throat> He's toying with me! Damn you, Madara! You've gone too far this time, showing those fakes to me! I know. We gotta get that scroll! Whatever it's called, we gotta find it quickly! Then we'll take down Madara, and we'll finally get the hell out of this world! People here who shouldn't be, the ones who've died are alive. What kind of world is this anyway? <gasps> Naruto's parents are alive here. But I wonder what he's doing over there right now. Come out, Menma. I said the dinner's ready. Just leave me alone, all right? I'm not gonna play house with those two phonies. <laughs> it's about a hundred years too early to start disobeying me, you know? Ah! It's really not worth it, Menma. They don't call your mother the Red Hot Habanero for nothing. You're gonna come eat your dinner now, right? Right! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Nenma, please bring your dishes over. Do it yourself. You're in a bad mood. Did you get into a fight with Sakura? Okay? You hardly ever drag that thing out. I'm allowed to, aren't I? Listen, earlier today, why'd you ask Granny to let me go with you? I'm sure that you've got your reasons for wanting to go. It's not like our boy to throw a fit without a good reason behind it. Am I wrong? What is that all about? Well, you are my son. everyone let's give this our all oh can i two missions back to back without a break is hard the days of my youth are long gone 
Don't say that. Come on, let's do this. Total role reversal. What's that look on your face all about? You trying to look cool to the heroes, kid? I bet you want to impress her, huh? Would you stop touching me? Hey, what was that for? Stop rebelling. Hey, you know, you didn't have to... What? Not really Menma, remember? Naruto. You have my gratitude. Because of you, I was able to locate the tailed beast. I know all there is to know about this world. Given that, you should heed my warning. You will soon have a crisis to contend with. Are you referring to the Red Moon Scroll? The enemy has already put their plans in motion. Have they now? The Red Moon Scroll is hidden just up ahead. I'm sure Jiraiya Sensei laid some traps to keep it safe. Kakashi. Take the lead and look ahead for us with your Sharingan. Understood. Or so I'd like to say, but uh, I went a bit overboard. I've been using the Sharingan a lot. You always peter out at the most crucial moments, don't you? Actually, I could do with the rest, too. Age tires both body and soul. <sighs> All right, we'll take a short breather. Hey, where's Menma? Not again. I can't stand around doing nothing! Is that it? Trap set off. No use crying about it now. We're Shinobi from the Leaf. We've come to retrieve the scroll concealed here by Master Jiraiya. I don't care who you are. Our instructions are to protect the scroll from anyone and everyone who might come here looking for it. Chief Toad, just listen to me! Silence! No room for negotiation, huh? Very well, then. We cut through! She do that. I stand back, Menma. But just stay here with Kushina. I'll handle the rest. Used 
ceiling jutsu of transportation ninjutsu and perimeter barrier jutsu. Jiraiya Sensei and I are just about the only two who could break this. Thank you, Sensei. You made sure only we got the Red Moon Scroll. Are you okay? Kushina only suffered a light burn, but I hope you know what I'm about to say. Just leave me alone, would you? What? You two stop fussing over me! Just knock it off, all right? Look, I didn't ask her to jump in or to get hurt. I could have gotten past that attack by myself without her help. <sighs> Sorry, that's not how it works. You will always protect your child. Your body just moves. There's no thinking or logic. That's what it means to be a parent. But, but how can you say that? Am I wrong somehow in my line of thinking? That's not what I was talking about. It's just... <sighs> Don't do something reckless like that again. I talked it over with Kushina before we left. When this mission is over, we want to submit your Jonin application. <gasps> Menma! Oh, uh, Kushina, I already gave him a talking to. What you put me through? <laughs> I'm so glad you weren't hurt. Such a loving family. I'm sure Jiraiya can rest in peace now. All right. Let's send out a strike force immediately. We have what we need to take down that evil masked man. No. We're still going to have to wait for the proper time. What? There's yet another part to the prophecy. It says that the Red Moon Scroll shall be opened only when the Heavenly Moon is stained vermilion. Until that time, I shall keep the scroll under lock and key. I can't believe it. We got the scroll. But now we still can't make a move. Yeah. Do we even have any idea when the moon is supposed to get stained red? I think tomorrow we should go see Lady Tsunami. Um, I'm sorry, Sakura. Uh, why? I... Uh, I gotta go.
Well, that was quick. <laughs> Mom and Dad, this is so... Welcome home. And my... I'm glad to be home. The Leaf has gained possession of the Red Moon Scroll. Very well. Then we can begin. The limited Tsukuyomi brings to life the innermost desires of whomever is brought inside of it. It's the world of their dreams. That's why. Once the world has been finished, not even I, its creator, can remake it. Bound by their deepest desires, there is no better way to imprison someone. Oh boy, I guess that sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. Child of Heroes, Naruto, I wonder if he's always felt like this. I'll always be here for you. Sorry, Naruto. I was wrong. So wrong. We've got to get back to our own world. Because of what I said to him? But now, what about his dream?
And what did you want to talk about, Sakura? I'm a bit busy today. I can't stay long. Oh. I mean, until the time comes for us to use the scroll, all we can do is wait, right? I guess that I'm just killing time until then. Can I ask you something? Are you actually happy in this world, Naruto? What? Sakura, come on, what are you even talking about? It's just... In this world, I have everything. Everything that I've always wanted. Dad is here. My mom is here. This is what I've always longed for. It was my dream to... But this place is... I know it's not real, but... I... Have you? You have my gratitude for retrieving that from behind the barrier protecting it. Now. You will give the Red Moon Scroll to me. Lady Hokage! You won't get that scroll! I wasn't talking to you, weaklings. Chakra. The next one will kill you. Give me the Red Moon Scroll. No! Get out of here, Menma! He's the masked man! Wait, he is? But that means it wasn't Madara. Madara? So you two are acquainted with him, huh? That's right. Do you know him? Yes. He's been very useful. We don't care. Just tell us where we can find him. I'm under no obligation to tell you that. Judging by your tone, it seems you're not one of us. All right. I'll make you talk. Ah! Sakura! I wouldn't do that. You're no match for me. So what? If we want to get out of this world, then we have to defeat Madara. I'll do what I have to do. The real heroes are the ones who risk their lives to protect our world and our village. It's my home. I won't abandon it. <gasps> something repulsive in you. The yellow flash. Back when I recovered that scroll, I inscribed my jutsu formula here. If I need to, I can spirit the scroll away to a kunai I've placed outside the village. I won't give up my master's legacy. 
On the contrary, you'll give it to me willingly. You let her go! Bring it to me and I'll spare her life. You think I'll let you get away with that? Here's a little parting gift. What is that? It's bad news. It's a massive dense chakra. Great Rasen Ring. At the very least, we still have the scroll. We'll get organized and wait for a chance to counterattack. What are you talking about? We don't have time to wait! We have to go and save her right away! That's impossible, Menma! We just don't have the talent to stand up to him. Besides, we can't go risking our lives for everyone else. What? Why not? We may all be ninja, but despite that, we're only human. Yeah, but... What if you die? We're just worried about your safety, Menma. Because I believe in you completely. The leaf's in your hands, Naruto. The ones who risked their lives to protect our world and our village! It's my home! I won't abandon it! I'll be right back. If I don't settle this now, we'll have even bigger problems than the Nine Tails. There is no hope for any of you! us as being anything but truly happy. I'm going to seal the rest of your chakra inside Naruto. And the other half of the Nine Tails. I'll seal it inside Naruto. But he's our son, Minato. Which is exactly why I don't want him to bear such a heavy burden. Why does Naruto have to be sacrificed for the balance of power among tailed beasts? For his nation? For his village? Why do you have to sacrifice yourself at all? If you're doing this just for me, then I don't want it! <laughs> Our family...
We won't see him for quite a while, so let's tell him what we want to say. Naruto, don't be a picky eater. Just eat a lot so you grow up big and strong. Don't forget to make friends as well. You don't need a ton of them, okay? Just a few is fine, as long as they're ones that you can really trust. Remember the three prohibitions of the shinobi. Oh, you should be wary of Jiraiya Sensei, you know? Naruto, I'm sorry to say, you'll have hardships and painful times ahead. Just be true to who you are. Make sure to have dreams and the courage to make those dreams come true. Oh, Naruto, there's so much. There's so much more. So much. There are so many things I wish I had time to pass on to you. So much more I want to tell you. I wish I could stay with you longer. I love you. Naruto, my words to you. I guess you're talking to mom. Said it all. I have to go. No, you don't! You don't need to go play the hero! The thing is, I'm not from this world. <sighs> also, my name is not Menma. I'm sorry for lying to you. Menma, what are you talking about? Where I'm from, my real dad was the fourth Hokage. And my mom was the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. Back in my world, when the Nine Tails attacked, they both sacrificed themselves in order to protect the village and to protect me. They died. Venma, please don't go. Stay with us. Sorry, I can't. No! Because I am the child of those two heroes! Another reality created by the limited Tsukuyomi. In your former world, this place was known as the Training Cave. Both Jiraiya and the fourth Hokage honed their skills here. <laughs> However, in this world, other people have set up their base here. Just what do you hope to achieve? You'll see. You should thank me. This will be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. There you are! Enough, Madara! Naruto! First, we're gonna take you down, and then go back to our own world! Sorry, but I'm not the one who's going to be your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> over the Red Moon Scroll! Not gonna happen! I'm here to get Sakura! Now let her go! Then I'll just take it from you once I take you down. I was planning on killing you anyway. There's something horrible coming from you. I can't let you live. Something horrible. What? <laughs> what is this awful feeling? Again? Damn it! What is going on? It disgusts me. Your chakra, your very existence, everything. What is this jittery feeling in the pit of my stomach? So, let's get this over with quickly. 
Nine Mask Svaha. Say, Yaku, Shu, Gen, Ku, Nan, Boku, Son, Kyoku. Nine Mask Beasts! I'll grind your bones to dust! There's too many of them! Reinforcements as well! Stop. We have come here to help you at the request of Lady Hokage. Huh? We were hired to back you up so that you have a fighting chance against that masked man. <laughs> Mercenaries! The Akatsuki! <laughs> You're worthy of shredding. No way! The Akatsuki's on our side? Don't get ahead of yourself! <laughs> Another distortion of this world. I never thought the Hokage would send the Akatsuki. Uh, Itachi Uchiha. From your appearance, I wouldn't expect physical attacks to be of use against you. However, I have other methods. The man who can burn it can fire itself. You are a nuisance, as usual. Keep an eye on Sakura for me, all right? I must say, the swaying of the flames is a really nice artistic touch. But true art is an explosion. So that's its true form? Relying on quantity won't win this fight. Is that so? This is over.
Who are you? Tell me. You disgust me. Rasen Shuriken didn't. It doesn't let up, does it? Deep in your belly. <laughs> you are such a fool. The one inside you has been getting angrier and angrier this whole time. Inside me? How did you know? Perhaps there's a resonance between us. <sighs> huh. To tell the truth, I never saw it coming either. <laughs> Unbelievable. To think that there's someone I identical to me in this world. That must be why I can't stand you! Your very existence makes every hair on my body stand up! But at least the solution's easy! I'll just have to erase you! The Nine Tails Jinchuriki here? Of all the tailed beasts, the Nine Tails possesses the greatest and purest hatred. Should two ever face each other, it is inevitable that a life or death battle shall begin. Now then, how will the dice fall? I'm the one that he's after! So go on! Get away from here! <laughs> Further assistance would fall outside our contract. We weren't paid to deal with this. But that's... How is something so big so fast? Mode. Are you completely stupid? 
He may be an imposter, but your opponent is a Nine Tails like me. You only have access to a fraction of my chakra, but he can use all of his. How can you fight him? Switch with me, Naruto. Let me out, and I'll take over this fight for you. Huh. You think I'd fall for that? I know what you're up to. I'm not just gonna hand my body over to you. As always, you're an insufferable brat. But remember, everything is relative. I detest Madara Uchiha even more than I hate you. If you were to die, then most likely I'd remain imprisoned inside this fake world forever. And if that's his plan, I have no desire to sit back and let it happen. I'll lend you my power, all my power, just this once. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? All right, fine. I say let's do it. A one-time only alliance. to reshape the whole landscape. We will triumph! You won't survive! Curse him! He's bonded strongly to that Nine Tails and has so much chakra! Just give up! You can't defeat us! I suspected that you would emerge victorious from this fight. No, 
However, the battle itself far exceeded my expectations. You and the Nine Tails bonded more strongly than I ever could have predicted. Now I just have to take you down and go home. It seems that you still do not fully understand the situation that you are in. Because of the resonance between the two Nine Tails, and because of the normally impossible alliance you've formed, at this moment, your seal has weakened to an unprecedented degree. Yes, just like that time. Damn it! Run now! Huh? Why? What's the big deal? I ignored him because he has no physical form, but he still has power. His visual jutsu. He'll drag me out of you like he dragged me out of Kushina. Huh? The Nine Tails <laughs> is mine! <laughs> Careful. If you look into his eyes, it's over. Damn it! At this rate, I'm done for! The Red Moon. Now or never. The time of the prophecy has come! Forget everything. The nine tailed fox spirit is mine. Your hopes have been extinguished! Naruto! Get up! I've wiped his memory. He's not even able to move anymore. You won't get near him. I'll make sure! This jutsu was handed down to us by the fourth Hokage. So what are you waiting for? Teach me! left me this Rasengan and also my precious name the book he wrote was tales of a gutsy ninja and what two great heroes picked out from that book was my name you will give me your tail beast and die inside this world I'm not Menma <laughs> Oh. 
I haven't been subjected to that jutsu for 16 years. Madara, are you still here? But this time... Minato! Kushina! But how did you two get here? It's thanks to Minato's kunai. I don't know who you really are, but I simply can't think of you as a stranger. I suppose this too is fate. Well, it matters little. Your nine tails can remain with you a little longer. Who was that man? The one behind all this. He's the one who brought us over to this world and started this whole mess in the first place. Okay, for coming to save us. And even though we weren't together long, I'm really grateful to both of you. Because my whole life, I've never known anything like this. Thank you for all of it for making me dinner, for worrying about me, for getting mad at me, for being alive and well. Thank you. So much. Is this... Uh, Naruto, your cloak! We did it, Sakura. We're back in our own world. What a pity. And we were so close to obtaining the Nine Tails. <laughs> to think that prophecy was accurate. I'm completely stunned. How could Madara pull something like this inside the village? From what I've heard, I believe that it was some type of transportation technique. He's unpredictable as ever. In any event, I'm relieved you're all safe. However, if this incident is made public, it'll be chaos in the village. Until we've taken countermeasures, I believe that it may be better to keep these events secret. 
Incidentally, regarding the Jonine applications that were submitted. It's back to the drawing board. You know, I definitely prefer Kakashi Sensei and Granny the way they are now. Yeah, it's comforting. Sakura! Hmm? It's Dad. <gasps> Sakura! Uh, there you are. Uh, uh, you just ran off. We've been looking everywhere for you. We're exhausted. Now you're ex-losted, get it? Because we found you. <laughs> <laughs> you are too much, you know that? Oh, no, just my way. <laughs> what is going on, child? You're so melodramatic. It's... I just... I'm sorry about everything. You know, Sakura... Your mother only pesters you because she worries about you. You should listen to what she says. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, Sakura, next time can we go on a real date? Are you kidding? Don't you think that one was long enough? <gasps> what? You call what we went through a date? What is a ninja? I asked that once when I was younger. A real ninja is one who endures. That's what my master told me. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Iruka Sensei, why did you? Well, it's just, you know. I thought I might have been a little harsh before. So I thought that we could share this and... Uh, huh? What's wrong? It's nothing. Welcome home, Naruto. It's good to be home. Okay, I'm out of here! And my name is Naruto Uzumaki. I'm a ninja! <laughs> <laughs>